Good morning, it's day 10 on the Appalachian Trail and uh, it's March 24th and today is our anniversary, woohoo! 32 years we've been together and uh, got up this morning to a beautiful warm sunrise. I uh, just want to catch you up real quick on the last two days. Um, yesterday, day 9, we finished uh, two nights in Hiawassee, took a zero day day. Um, we see day eight was a complete zero day. We hiked no miles. We took the whole day off just to rest our bodies. Uh, Diana uh, Sparkles had a, a small injury in her calf where she felt something pop a few days ago and had swelled up a little bit. And so she iced it up and stayed off it all day on day eight. And um, I think I'm getting my days right here. I feel like all the days are running together. And then uh, day nine, we got up and we, catch, uh, we caught a shuttle back up to the trail, came up to Dick's Creek Gap out of Hiawassee and uh, piled out of the shuttle and started walking immediately. Um, we did nine miles yesterday, probably the hardest day we've done so far, not for terrain wise, but boy, just coming off a day off and just laying around for a day and boy, we just, we ate and ate and ate in town. It was uh, just tough for us to get our bodies going. But we finished nine miles. And at the end of the day, we crossed over out of Georgia into North Carolina. And that was a huge milestone for us. We have officially finished with Georgia and those massive Georgia, Georgian mountains. And uh, we are now hiking in North Carolina. There's a tree on the border with a sign on it. We stopped and took some pictures, and uh, I hugged the tree when we got to North Carolina. I was so excited. But we set up camp just over the North Carolina border, and uh, I think we slept probably 11 or 12 hours last night. Had a great night's sleep. Got up this morning, and North Carolina welcomed us with probably the steepest climbs that we've had so far, literally straight uphill. Um, so steep it... You could reach out and touch the mountain in front of you as you were climbing. So, um, got over that first couple big mountains, stopped to make some breakfast, and now we're heading on to Standing Indian Shelter today. I'm going to try to do a total of eight miles today. Uh, still not ready to crank out the big miles, I'm trying to let our bodies continually uh, adjust and build up our trail legs and uh, prevent any injuries before we start pushing it too hard. But we got a beautiful day. It's a little chilly this morning. Tonight we are expecting a squall line to come through. They're predicting some severe thunderstorms to come through around 7, 8 o'clock tonight. Some off and on thunder showers in the afternoon and throughout the night. Clear again in the morning. So another reason we want to stop at 8 miles is make sure we can put our tent in a in a place where we can stay dry and batten down the hatches for the storm. Anyway, just uh, living the dream and uh, we'll update you again soon. All right, it's dinner time. It's raining. We're in the shelter with some other hikers. Sasha from Germany and uh, Hanchai from Hawaii. <laughs> well, good morning. It's uh, day 11 on the trail. And just want to give you a quick update. We just climbed to the top of uh, Standing Indian Mountain and uh, heading back down the other side. Tallest mountain we've climbed so far, almost 5,500 feet, I believe. And uh, last night we stayed at Standing Indian Mountain Shelter. And it's our first night staying inside the shelter itself. I'm kind of glad we did. There was supposed to be bad storms coming through during the night and sure enough just about uh, dinner time um, man the wind started to howl and the rain came down 
and it poured and the wind blew all night long and it didn't stop till about five or six o'clock this morning and uh, we crowded the shelter out we just had people all crammed in there and some tents around us and uh, stayed dry and stayed warm and uh, off at it again today we're going to try to put some miles behind us this morning see if we can't make maybe 11 miles today to a campground up here and maybe get into Franklin um, maybe tomorrow night if not first thing Sunday morning okay guys it's day 12 little update we are uh, climbing a mountain toughest mountain so far there's about a thousand foot drop to our right and we're walking on just a tiny little trail that's on the edge of the mountain here some serious exposure and uh, Sparkles is doing great. Just thought I'd give you a little view of it. It's kind of hard to see through the trees, but everything to our right goes straight down. And then you can see lots of mountains off in the distance to the right. Beautiful sights. All right, guys, we're climbing straight up a mountain here. Thought I'd try to get the camera out. Let's see if it give you a little bit of view of what we're climbing. We're at about the 14 mile mark for the day. And we're just a few hundred yards from reaching the 100 mile marker on the trail, 100 miles. But we got some bouldering to do to get there. hand over hand right through here Still climbing, almost at the top. Give you a little touch of the view here. rabbit right on the trail, Diana. I'm going to try to get you guys a view of a rabbit sitting right on the trail. That is a mountain rabbit. We're at the top of a mountain. And there he is. Alright. By far the worst climb, steepest climb, hand over hand, straight up. There's a fire tower right up here at the top of the mountain, and we're almost there. Kick butt, especially 14 miles in today. But we are just about to hit the 100 mile mark. Woohoo! Wow, there's a lot of people camping up here. All right, walk out here and get you a view.
There she is. She made it. And it's written on the stairs behind you. AT 100 miles. <laughs>